Welcome to the ultimate guide to revitalizing your lawn. Picture this, a barren, lifeless patch of land dramatically transformed into a lush, vibrant green haven. It's not just a dream, but an achievable reality. From desolate to dense, from sparse to splendid, these transformations are not only visually breathtaking, but also a testament to the magic of proper lawn care. So whether you're battling brown patches or striving for that perfect emerald hue, stay tuned to discover how to achieve these results on your lawn. The journey to a beautiful lawn begins with understanding your grass type. Just as there are many varieties of flowers, there are also several types of grass, each with its own set of needs. From the cool season grasses like Kentucky bluegrass and fescues, to the warm season varieties such as Bermuda and St. Augustine, the type of grass you have determines how you care for it. But it's not just about the grass type. Your soil type and local climate are also key players in this game of green. Whether you have sandy soil or clay, live in a hot desert region or a cool mountainous area, these factors significantly influence which grass type will thrive in your yard. So how do you find out your grass type, soil type, and the best care for your specific situation? Well, it's a mix of observation, a bit of research, and sometimes, seeking advice from local garden centers or extension services. Knowing your grass type is the first step to a healthy lawn. Healthy soil equals a healthy lawn. That's our mantra as we delve into the world of soil health. It's the foundation upon which your lawn thrives, and understanding it can be the key to unlocking a lush, vibrant garden. Firstly, soil testing. A simple yet crucial step in determining the pH and nutrient levels of your soil. This information will guide you in choosing the right amendments to balance your soil's health. Speaking of amendments, they are the superheroes of soil health. Whether it's compost, manure, or lime, these substances can improve soil structure, enrich it with nutrients, and correct pH imbalances. Now let's talk about aeration and decompaction. These processes are like giving your lawn a breath of fresh air. They reduce soil compaction, allowing roots to spread and water to penetrate more effectively. In essence, soil health is a balancing act of testing, amending, aerating, and decompacting. Remember, treat your soil well and your grass will thank you. Watering your lawn is an art and a science. The key is to deliver just the right amount of water at the right time. Too much or too little, and your grass may struggle to thrive. So what's the secret to efficient watering? Well, it's a blend of technique, timing, and technology. Firstly, watering deeply but infrequently encourages your grass to develop a deep root system, making it more drought resistant. Aim to soak the soil about six inches deep. That's the sweet spot for most grass types. Next, timing. The best time to water your lawn is early in the morning, when evaporation rates are low. This gives the water a chance to soak in before the midday sun can evaporate it. Finally, technology can lend a hand. Rain sensors, for instance, can prevent overwatering by detecting rainfall and adjusting your sprinkler system accordingly. Water wisely and watch your lawn thrive. Feeding your lawn is essential for vibrant growth. Now let's talk fertilizers. Fertilizers come in various types, each designed to meet different nutrient demands of your grass. There are granular fertilizers that are easy to spread, liquid fertilizers for quick absorption, and organic options that are environment friendly. The application method is just as important as the type. Broadcasting, where you spread fertilizer all over the lawn, is great for general maintenance. Spot treating, on the other hand, is perfect for addressing nutrient deficiencies in specific areas. Timing is another crucial factor. Generally, you should fertilize in the spring to kickstart growth after winter, and in the fall to prepare the grass for dormancy. However, the exact timing can vary depending on your grass type and local climate. Remember, over-fertilizing can harm your lawn, so it's vital to follow the manufacturer's instructions and adjust based on your lawn's response. The right fertilizer at the right time can work wonders. Weeds can be a lawn's worst enemy. These uninvited guests compete with grass for sunlight, water, and nutrients, often leading to a less than perfect lawn. But fear not, as we have strategies to keep them at bay. First up, prevention is key. A healthy, well-maintained lawn is your best defense against pesky weed invasions. Regular mowing, watering, and fertilizing can help create an environment where grass thrives and weeds struggle to take root. Next, consider mulching. Not only does it help retain soil moisture and regulate temperature, but it also blocks sunlight from reaching weed seeds, preventing their growth. For those stubborn weeds that still manage to spring up, eco-friendly herbicides are your ally. 
These compounds, derived from natural sources, can tackle weeds without harming your grass or the environment. Lastly, don't underestimate the power of good old manual removal. Pulling weeds out by hand or using a tool can be surprisingly effective, especially when the soil is moist. Effective weed management is key to maintaining a lush lawn. Proper mowing techniques can make or break your lawn. Mower maintenance is essential, and a key part of this is ensuring that your mower blades are sharp. Dull blades can tear at the grass, leaving it susceptible to pests and diseases. So make it a habit to check and sharpen your blades regularly. Now let's talk about cutting height. It's crucial to remember that cutting your grass too short can stress it out, making it more vulnerable to drought and weed invasion. The general rule of thumb is to never cut more than one third of the grass blade at a time. Lastly, let's touch on mowing patterns. Did you know that varying your mowing path can actually promote healthier grass growth? By changing the direction each time you mow, you can prevent the grass from leaning in one direction and ensure a more even cut. Mow wisely and watch your grass grow healthier. Pests and diseases can wreak havoc on your lawn, but fear not, with the right knowledge and tools, you can protect your green oasis. Let's delve into this. First, the identification. Many pests like grubs or cutworms live beneath the surface, feasting on your grass roots. Telltale signs can be brown patches or the presence of birds pecking at your lawn. Diseases on the other hand, often manifest as discolored spots or rings on the grass or a powdery mildew covering. Next, the combat strategy. For pests, beneficial nematodes or milky spore can be your natural allies. If the infestation is severe, consider eco-friendly pesticides. For diseases, proper lawn care practices are your best defense. However, if you spot a disease, quick treatment with the right fungicide can halt its spread. Remember, early detection and prompt action can save your lawn. So keep an eye out and don't hesitate to act when your lawn is under threat. Every season brings new challenges and opportunities for your lawn. With spring's arrival, it's time to revive your lawn after winter dormancy. Aeration, dethatching, and fertilization are key steps to stimulate growth and green up your grass. As summer approaches, focus on maintaining your lawn's health in the face of heat and potential drought. Regular watering, preferably in the early morning, and mowing at a higher height can help your lawn stay lush and hydrated. Fall is the perfect time for some prep work. Consider overseeding to fill in thin areas and aerating once more to ensure nutrients reach the roots. It's also the time to apply a winterizer fertilizer to prepare your lawn for the coming cold. Winter is all about protection. Keep off the grass as much as possible to prevent damage and avoid mowing until spring. Remember, every season requires a unique approach, and adapting your lawn care routine to the seasons is crucial. Scene Script Sustainable lawn care benefits your lawn and the environment. Now that's a win-win worth investing in. Let's explore three key practices that can help us achieve this green goal. First up, rainwater harvesting. By collecting and storing rainwater, we can significantly reduce our reliance on tap water for irrigation. Not only does this conserve a precious resource, it also provides your lawn with a natural chemical-free source of hydration. Next, consider switching to organic fertilizers. Derived from plant and animal waste, these fertilizers slowly release nutrients into the soil, promoting healthier plant growth without the risk of chemical runoff. Finally, let's talk about creating wildlife-friendly zones. Whether it's a patch of wildflowers for pollinators or a small pond for frogs, these zones can enhance biodiversity and contribute to a healthier ecosystem. Incorporating these eco-friendly practices into your lawn care routine can lead to a greener, healthier lawn and a more sustainable world. Embrace eco-friendly practices for a greener, healthier lawn. Sometimes, despite our best efforts, problems arise. Patchy lawns, yellowing grass, and soil compaction are common issues that can be disheartening. But don't fret, with a bit of detective work and the right approach, these problems can be easily remedied. Patchy lawns often signal a lack of nutrients or inadequate watering. A soil test can help identify nutrient deficiencies, and adjusting your watering schedule can do wonders. Yellowing grass, on the other hand, could be due to a variety of issues, from pests to disease or even a pH imbalance. Identifying the root cause is key, and tailored treatments can restore your lawn's vibrant green hue. Soil compaction is another common culprit that hinders grass growth. Regular aeration can help loosen the soil, allowing water and nutrients to reach the roots more effectively. Armed with these troubleshooting tips, you're ready to tackle any lawn challenge.